Thanks, Lebanon. Our letters of stone from Nazi Germany to South Africa from author and anthropologist Stephen Robbins tells the story of a man who embarks on a journey to find out what happened to his family during the Holocaust. A picture inspired this memoir and the stories that are woven together to create a read that is breathtaking and honest. Stephen Robbins joins me from our Cape Town studios. Stephen, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. For the benefit of our viewers, um, Talk to me about this, this story, and it all started with a photograph that nobody really talked about, but that was part of your life. Yes, thanks very much, Sam. Um, I, I grew up in Port Elizabeth, and in our dining room, um, on a, a black table there, next to the dining room table, was a photograph. It was a postcard-sized photograph of three women. And I knew I was related to the three women. And I must have known growing up that they perished during the Holocaust. But I didn't know their names, and I didn't have a clear sense of how they were related to my family. And it was only much later in life that I learned that um, the older woman in the photograph was my grandmother. And I learned her name, Cecily. And the two younger women were my father's sisters, Edith and Hildegard. So, you know, this, this is quite extraordinary to grow up in, in a home with this photograph of close relatives, but you don't know their fate. And this silence pervaded uh, much of my youth. And as a young adult, I, I began to be very curious to find out what had happened. And I was particularly haunted by the one photograph of Edith. Um, now I know that this um, photograph was probably sent to my father, Herbert Leopold Rabinsky, as he was born, and we you know, changed his name to Robin. So he got out of Germany in 1936, and he managed to get one brother out, Arthur, who yeah. came to South Africa and ended up in northern Rhodesia. But he was unfortunately unable to get the rest of the family out, so his parents and his two sisters and older brother were not able to get out and they perished in the Holocaust yeah. in Riga and Auschwitz. And essentially I grew up without knowing much about my family and it was only um, as an adult I um, went to Washington DC for an anthropology conference. And, and that was and in 1996? What that, that was in 1996, yes. And I took time out from the conference just to um, go to the Holocaust Memorial Museum there. And it was quite an unsettling exhibition. And after seeing the exhibition, I went to the library that they have as part of the exhibition complex. And I spoke to someone and said, look, you know, my family perished in, in the Holocaust. He yeah. said, what were the names? And I said, Rabinsky got out this big black book and went through the R's. And there for the first time, I saw the list of my family members, their names, yeah. where they were born, where they lived in Berlin, and where and when they were deported. Stephen, let me, let me just camps. come in there very quickly because uh, we're running out of time. I just want to establish a couple of other things. So you go on this mission, you find out that your family, then you decide with your wife, Lauren, to go to Berlin. What was, what was your emotional state then, very quickly? Um, well, it, it was, um, you know, a very powerful process, the whole process of discovery, because I put in these plaques, uh, you know, in Berlin, outside the buildings, my family were deported. And then I thought I'd done all I could, because all I had were a few facts about what had happened to them. But then what um, emerged was almost 100 letters were discovered by my cousins, um, David Robbins and Cecilia Singer. And these letters revealed to me the inner lives of these people. Prior to that, all I knew was what had happened to them. Suddenly, I could read the, in their own words, I could get their voices, and I could learn about their experiences trapped in Berlin in the, the 1930s and early 40s. And that opened up an entire world for me. So emotionally, you know, I've been on a long journey, but what was particularly poignant was to actually begin to find out who my grandmother was and to find out who my aunt was. Prior to that, they were simply yeah. bare facts, people who'd been deported to these places. So yeah. for me, 
That was the most powerful part of the, this sure. whole journey. Stephen Robbins, unfortunately, we run out of time. Um, this is such an interesting book. It's called Letters of Stone from Nazi Germany to South Africa. And it literally tracks um, just the discovery of this author and anthropologist uh, about his family. A picture inspired this memoir. Go and find it. It is an amazing read. Go and check it out. It's available at all good bookstores. We take an ad break. You don't go anywhere.